taking my little seal for a ride. I got no, no, they don't like you very much. No, it's gonna take a long time for me to do it. These are Italy made boots, Italian. You need to be cleaned up a little bit. If somebody took some leather cleaner to them, that'd be relatively decent. Bought them for like two forty nine. I mean, if you give me thirty bucks for them, I mean, they're, I see them online for eighty, ninety, typically right now. But the bottoms are really well. I didn't beat them up. Does it say heat top butt? Top, Those are uh, uh, crop grain, grain leather. leather. Yeah. I don't got my dirt bike anymore, but I want to use it with my dirt bike. I usually use my. Is that a, like a model number? Davos? What is that? Davos? This, this is knows, just a huh? company. I who, who the hell knows? I, Maybe that's <laughs> just for the souls. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't. I have is, no damn clue. I mean, when I bought them, I bought them online. Um, what, what would you have to do to put a motorcycle on consignment if that's something I you want to do? You can't anymore? I can't do anything with a title. Unless it's my own private, you know, bike or car. Or so I got a 02 Heritage Softail I want to get rid of. No, I'm not the guy for that. I, I couldn't find these particular ones on eBay. Yeah. And I was like, well, that sucks. Cause I don't know if I'm going to be getting shafted on them or not but i don't care they're just sitting around i ain't never gonna use them again really and i gotta like i said i'm moving so i'm clearing the house that i'm getting the apartment i'm getting is very small <laughs> i don't know i guess i'd be happy with 30 or work with me I think you can sell My thing is that, you know, we're in the middle of the summer now, so probably I won't sell these till kind of towards the end of the season, you know? These are nice warm boots unless you're going to use them on like... But, you know, for the for the motocross, they're not really... I mean, they're yeah. that kind of size. That style. Yeah, yeah, but... I mean, these are black ones, kind of similar style. Somebody sold them for 60 They actually took a best offer, it's crossed up. I mean, if you want like 20 bucks, I'll take a shot. I'll throw them here for $45, you know, but otherwise 25? I'm, gonna I'm gonna pass. 20 bucks, man. You got it, 20. I'm sorry, it's just one it's of right. those items, you uh, know? It's all right, man, I it's get right. it. No, I, Pete, I know how it works. I know how you work with things like this, and I only figured that, so. It doesn't matter, they're gonna be sitting around anyway, so 20 bucks in my pocket or boots sitting on my shelves, taking up space where I can put other shit. So I worked in a factory, I said, yeah, and when you're making a dollar, whatever it was, two dollars an hour, and you can make five or ten dollars on an item, then you find out some of these stores, for, you know, it's, it's, every store has ten more, they'll buy something for twenty, brand new, for sixty dollars, three hundred percent markup, yeah. I'm here aware of that, the markup, so this stuff is astronomical, I, I thought, oh, how they, because well, people pay it, so I, I can make five or ten dollars, I sold stuff kind of cheap, but it got me all, I didn't know what I was doing. See, I didn't. You know, I had to figure out. You didn't have no computer. You had yeah. to know. Yep. And you can only only 24 hours a day. Those days that I couldn't even yeah. get a glass of water. Not even a glass of water. People waiting to wait on. My brother says the building across the street. I didn't buy it. They buy it because they knew me and my family. Other people wanted it. They gave it to me instead. Nice. The day I bought it, everybody wanted it. We'll give you thousand dollar profit. Well, that was years ago. You know? Right, right. So I bought the building. And I put a lot of hours in. I, yeah. I used to work 80, 90 hour days. Yeah. I'd go, when you're selling guns, a lot of book work and record keeping. Yeah. Now, they're, because they read, the, I mean, obviously, Dundee changed so much, right? Over well, the years, they, you know. used to park, you could, now you, you could park on a, on a corner. Remember yeah. when they shot the movie there? 
the the what Road was it to, with Tom Hanks? Yeah, uh, yeah. Was it Green Mile? No, Green. Uh, what no, was Road it? to Perdition. Ro yep, yep. That, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Well, Tom Hanks was right behind my building. He was there. So that was what, like 80s? No, that's 90s, right? I think no, 90s. Sir. I still got the check. They gave me one check. They paid uh -huh. me money. And then they gave you, they had to give me another one, so I kept the old check. You know, it wasn't any good. And you see the details they go through is astonishing. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. They, they spend tons of money. They brought all these old cars and because. Everything, everything. So Tom Hanks was right behind my store. Yeah. And I could go back. I, they couldn't stop me. They, they would, the most, all the movies ever done, the most people ever come up with. People were crowding, crowding all over. Yeah, I, I could know. go right there and well, next to him almost. So we sat there one time talking, and he come out and says, can you be quiet or something to that effect? He says, I'm setting my lines. But the, and let me ask you this, did Correct. they change the name of your store or they kept it Bob, like it was? No, I kept the Bob's Trading Post. Okay. Oh. No, but for the movie, was that name there? Oh. Or when they shot the movie with, with Tom Hanks, and all these stores are in the scene, right, they, in downtown. Did they change everything? Absolutely. Yeah, they changed they, mine. See, you don't know what they're doing. You know, one time they asked to use electricity. I said, sure. Like, I could run over, I, I had the freedom to go right where they're working. Yeah, yeah. Because I was there. They didn't say nothing. So they, uh, they change it, and they do this, and then they put snow on it. And then they, yeah. the snow was cotton, by the way. Right. But they never shot anything inside your store. It just oh, no, used the no. exterior, right? Outside the store. Yeah. They, uh, in the very first scene, like, one of the very first scenes, and then they went through the banks. But they, they spent so much. I got a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. And that's, I started closing on Wednesday, first time I ever did that. And I said, I'm going to continue that because it's such fun. So when he was there, He's supposed to leave down the way and the, the make a path so he could get out. People wouldn't let him. And I said, well, I ain't going to go chase him. So I'm sitting down on, on a back behind my building, next building, sitting down like this. He walks by. He come out the other way. He walked right by me. Yeah. Everybody was just going goofy. But I was privileged because I had the business. And they took pictures. But you watch them make a movie. A lot of stuff, but they take pictures they don't use. Oh, they don't use they it. They touch it up. They I hear it. that most, a lot of times, you know, well, maybe these days is a little bit different, but back in the day, 50% of the film that is shot is not used later in production, you know? A lot of it, yeah. Because they go through a lot the, of different scenes, and yeah. they even will shoot a few different scenarios of possible the same scene, and right. they'll choose which one is the best and things like that. So Yeah, well, I've um, watched all that. What was the most, like, what, what did you sell the most in your shop? Guns? I sold 25,000 guns. That's a lot of guns. Well, if you're only one selling them. Yeah. But years ago, I came out with these little pistols, 1495. RGs, you wouldn't know what they are. They're cheap, but that's what they sold. Yeah. I'd buy them about 20 at a time for nine bucks. I can make seven, eight. To me, that was a ton of money. Hi, guys. So Good. I sold a lot of guns. I had a reputation. So I, I very, I used to play poker. I, I know what I'm doing. Did you sell any other weapons? Did you sell a lot of knives? I do l very well I with knives. Very little? Very good, very oh. well. Oh, yeah. this, that was the other best seller. Yeah, I that's my best knives. seller, knives. Well, see, that's fine. Then you got somebody open a couple miles away like that guns and Cabalas is right down the street. They compete. Yeah, yeah. I sold a lot of knives. I yeah. sold a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Used to buy handcuffs. Oh, Get Guns has been there for years now too. Who? You know they've been there a long time. Get Guns on 25. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 They've been there a long time. So what are you thinking now? What are you gonna sell the building? What are you gonna uh, do? I don't know. I, I I I mean you what? You said you 82. Yeah. Maybe it's time just to just well like, it isn't that easy because I got the stuff to get rid of, and you have to understand they had a lot of very valuable stuff. Okay. I wasn't gonna put a storage unit. I wasn't gonna put up my house, so I had to put up with it. Now. Year after year, I got to start doing it. But there was a yeah. time I couldn't do nothing. I sold a few things out of there. But just well, let me know if you ever, you know, I mean, well, I would be interested. Of course, it's got to make sense for both of us. I don't want you to give yeah. it away, but as long as you leave well, me a little bit meat on a bone. Well, we'll see. I guess. Uh, you know? I'm a little bit. Hey, pleasure. Yeah, I don't want Pleasure to for it. stopping by. No, thank you. Thank you for the story. I, I always. So many times, you know, like I said, my daughter lives right by there, so I drive so many times, and, and I always see your store. 
She lives on a first, right by the river. Okay. Well, she's probably been in my store. Almost everybody has. Maybe, very possible, but you've been closed lately. Five years, five, six years? Yeah, and she only moved in there not too long ago, oh, so. Okay. Yeah, so. I just was in no position to do anything. Yeah. I had a guy helping me, he stole from me, I kept him for a while. I, I needed help, I was desperate. So I went to the hospital, he stole from me again. That's when I closed. Yeah? I don't want to keep you. All right, my friend. Get rid of something, I'm going to walk around. Hope you have AC in the car, right? Because it's hot. It's hot out there. I stopped there to change oil. They couldn't do it. Why not? They were too busy. Oh. That's why I came. I was going to come here anyway, very quickly, very quickly. And I asked the guy, my AC wasn't working. He pushed the right button, it was. So it was worth that to fix it. Oh, just, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't, they had all these buttons. So my oh. air conditioner is working. That's my main concern, the oil. I'm, I can wait a day or two. I'll be okay. back in a couple days. All right, my friend. Um, Pleasure. I don't want to keep it. So I picked up this really cool globe that has names on it from like, you know, a thousand years ago or maybe even longer that the continents would be named, you know. Uh, obviously we got Europa, we got Asia, we got Americas, but the coolest part is that you can use this in your house, a secret place or, or stashing things away because what happens here it lifts up and we have this weird looking compartment inside that I don't know what could be used these got weird notches in there this is rounded like you could put I don't know maybe maybe glasses here maybe a couple bottles in the middle and, and shot glasses or something is this like a bar thing what do you guys think I mean Anybody ever seen something like this? Shed some light on this. What do you think this is? It is a cool piece. From a distance, looks like a really nice vintage looking globe. Um, just weird, and I love weird. I just to be honest with you. I, I fish, but I don't. I don't know yeah, fish. and I do. I do a lot too. Um, I think even more on the lines of. So this is a definitely play. old one. These are newer, okay. just to be. Okay. They look honestly, like they're you know new, um, okay. older one, but they're not. The way the settings are done okay. with those screws. Yeah. I um, honestly don't know. So he's telling me something there. This one right here is also older. Okay. So is this one. I mean, if anything, I think they're just kind of cool for antique wise. Like no, I like mean, a there's, fishing lodge type there's, of thing. there's guys, there's definitely collect the older these ones. These are newer you know? ones, these, these are, are mine, but I honestly, I, I don't really fish anymore, so I would okay. be willing to I mean, if, if you go around, I'm sure you got one, huh? Look at this case. <laughs> you got one. So there's, you know, I always sell fishing lures. Now it's the season, so guys are buying. But it's, you know, I gotta have them priced right. I mean, you, what are you yeah. thinking? What do you want to get uh, out of you this? You know, thing? I don't. I didn't even think of a price. I brought them in to you. You, you know, like, this is just your okay. specialty. And I forty take, bucks. Forty. Okay. Twenty for each box. Okay. And I'll tell you what. These right here, these three right here are probably gonna get six to seven dollars on. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I just didn't know what was old there or not. I just, so. Um, but like this box, I'll give you 20, I'll put 40 on it, and I'll okay. try to double my money. So if okay. you're okay with that, I can do that. If not, then I got to pass. I would do it. I got you so would, many. You want to do like a, can we do like a $50 in store credit? Are you trying to get I am not. Of? No, I just, I would love to shop around. I'd rather, I'd so rather shop around. So if you want to do store credit, I can do I'd it. I'd rather do that because I'll I'm give not, you, and it doesn't not. expire. Okay. So you can use it either today or whatever. Yeah, you know I'm what I mean? Around. I'd so. rather, I'd rather do that than, you know. All right, great. I do need your idea. I'll write you up. and Let's do that. And you can browse around them yeah. and see if you spot anything. I will do that. So the clips that you guys saw at the beginning of the video, me riding with uh, with this setup on this little mini bike, if anybody's interested of getting a Negan outfit with the little Lucille 
and his uh, little red scarf is available for sale. $150 for the whole setup. Nice vintage leather jacket. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.